completely new group on the floor for the Kings. And let's get this update now from Doris Burke, who's across the way on the sideline. Hey, guys. Well, George Carl had some advice for the team in that last huddle. He didn't exactly take it easy on them, saying, how much do you want it? Don't tell me. Show me out there. We have to play better. We have to play harder if we're going to come back. Guys? Tries from 10. The kick out to Bosch. Over Davis. Bosch can't get that one to fall. An eight rebound advantage like the one they have now is always going to swing the score hard in that team's direction. And that's certainly been the case today. Their rebounding has made a huge difference. Hill is green on Bosch. All sorts of time. And misses it off the right side of the rim. The drive by Collison. He dishes it to Noah. Lee passes to Noah. Bosch sets the pick for Collison. Davis again. It's Bosch. Dishes it to Snell. Sacramento again missing. Well, oh, that's a surprising miss right there. He usually feasts on those wide open opportunities. Outside Rondo. Outside, Kobe. Davis down low. He's covered by Bosch. And Courtney Lee gets the whistle that time. That's his first foul. Collison against Rondo. And they double up Rondo. And it's Salmons in the corner. That's good. And the Lakers lead. Rondo, a master at setting up teammates. Collison against Rondo. Bosch is green on Bryant. Lee will not go. This is off the front eye. Rondo with it. to Salmons. Just five to shoot. Shot is off. And he continues to search for his rhythm. It's eluded him to this point. Here's Snell. Their offense stone cold. Another miss there. Now remember, he made two three-pointers in the first half, but has not been able to get anything to fall here in the second. Outside Rondo. And it's Salmons in the corner. And it's good coming on the assist by Rajon Rondo. Salmons got nine points now in just the second half. They really want to find that igniter here. Yeah, that's right. The, Kevin, the offense has basically been running in place. They got to get going. From 17 feet out, the Kings trail by 16. Now Collison. Bosch, the screen. Uncovered. Count that one. Bosch has got 19 points. It is so hard to contain. He just seems to get it done however he has to do it. Now here's Rondo. And it's Salmons in the corner. And again, Los Angeles with the triple. You know, one aspect of their play today that's really been tight and, and far superior is their passing. Agreed. I mean, you look at the points. I mean, they're getting a lot of baskets off of assists. So the offense really clicking here. Yeah, and that's his first three of the half. There may be more in store. Rondo again, Slee. Rondo drives in, and it's Bryant in the corner. Salmons dishes to Hill. Rondo kicks to Salmons. Basket is good. The assist from Rondo. 
Selman's got 15 points in just the second half. Collison the pass to Snell. Back to Collison. To the paint. Bosch with it. He's picked up by Hill. Collison dishes to Lee. From 12 feet out. Rebounded by the Lakers. Selman's got three rebounds now in this one. And in the paint, they have really shown some strength. Their work on the boards has been phenomenal. Yeah, I'd certainly call it a mismatch, Steve, at least for today. Again, Los Angeles. This switch has definitely been flipped to on this quarter, guys. Collison kicks to Bosch. Pass to Lee. Collison the pass to Noah. The dish to Bosch. Gets a very good look and converts. Bosch has got four points in the quarter. Well, and the bounce pass was the key to the play. Davis setting the pick for Rondo. And the pass to Selmans. From deep three-point range. You know, even though he's bite-sized compared to the big man on the floor, he's done some really tall work on the board. All game long, guys, he's been getting it done. Really doing a nice job rebounding. Yeah, I couldn't agree with you more. I mean, they've had a major advantage on the glass dominating that stat. Rondo with it. And Bosch picks him up defensively. Killing them with that three-point shot here in the second half. Well, the defense fully stretched out trying to stop that shot and still not able to get it done. Now a timeout called by Sacramento. Well, you know, starting last season, the NBA added a 3D camera system in every arena to track movements on the court. And some of the shots that those cameras get are remarkable. They can measure just about anything you can think of, and it's opening up a lot of different ways of measuring and dissecting the game. Another example of the overreaching arts of analytics. Changes here for the Lakers. Stoudemire's checked in for Davis. And Carlos Boozer is subbed in for Hill. And then for Sacramento, Carl Landry's checked in for Noah. And this comes in for Tony Snell. And Ray McCallum subbed in for Lee. Fires from 18. And his misses. And going back to the new camera system, it seems it won't be long before every team has one. Really a revolution as far as evaluating the game. Well, we are in an information age, there's no question. Stats, numbers, camera angles. Teams are really trying everything to, to get an edge over their competition. And it makes perfect sense. But the big question is, how do you use that information? I think that's what teams are trying to figure out. Carlos Boozer amnestied by the Bulls this offseason after four years in Chicago. They still have to pay his salary, Steve, but it doesn't count against their cap. Yeah, that's been rumored for a couple of years, and it finally came true, Kevin. So a new team for Boozer. And looking to bounce back after what was uh, one of the worst seasons of his career, at least statistically. And he sinks the second. And Boozer last season had expressed his unhappiness with the rotation in Chicago. Passed over for the younger Taj Gibson in the fourth quarter. Gibson was seen as a more reliable defender, though, and typically coaches default to defense late in game. Boozer with plenty of motivation this season to prove his worth as far as fourth quarter minutes go. Now here's Rondo. Boozer is green on Collis. Boozer with the screen for Kobe. Screen by Boozer. Fires top of the key. And he gets the bucket. 27 points for Kobe Bryant. 
Matt Boozer, a rugged rebounder and interior scorer with the ability to step out and hit that mid-range jump shot. Interesting to see how he fits in. Now here's Bosch. Gets it to go from 18 feet away. Bosch has got six here in this quarter. And so it's going to end up in the record books as a blowout, dominating performance for the Lakers. But Steve, you know, you don't see this kind of a blowout often. But tonight, this is a quality win across the board to deliver out. Uh, Clark, this is kind of punishment. Well, you know what? I thought they did a nice job of playing against the game. Uh, they kept the pressure on and clearly were dominant in every area. And nobody really saw a performance like this coming. But it was a big-time game for Kobe Bryant. Every inch of the floor was his tonight as he came out and injected energy into every play that was made out there. Collison dishes to Ennis. Here's McCallum. But they'll get another chance. Now here's Ennis. Tight defense on him. Second chance shot. The kick out to Collison. No good. So the Lakers will take it the other way. There's 21 seconds left to play in the final quarter. Outside Rondo. And the shot clock expires. 24 second violation. And a wide open look for Lee. No good. And so it's the Lakers taking care of business here. And this one was such a lopsided victory. They never let up. They were full throttle from the start. Thanks for tuning in to the NBA on 2K Sports. For Clark Kellogg, Steve Kerr, and Doris Bird, this is Kevin Harlan. We'll see you next time. And now, our Jordan player of the game, Kobe Bryant.